Organizers have been putting on the finishing touches and everything from WRL First Night Raleigh. Nearby businesses are expecting a financial boost from the tens of thousands of people who will attend. WRL's Monica Casey is there now and joins us live. Monica, set the stage for us. Well, even though New Year's Eve is tomorrow, we have seen tons of people downtown, a lot of them admiring the new rides for this year, including that giant Ferris wheel behind me. Some were also getting a bite to eat at some of the food trucks that were set up for tomorrow's event. Restaurants around here are hoping this event will give them a boost as they continue to recover from the pandemic. There's nothing like New Year's. It will be a night to remember in downtown Raleigh, the first fully attended WRAL first night in three years. Crews are putting the finishing touches on new rides and food trucks are ready to feed thousands. We had to put in months of preparation for this event. Jason Nuanunu is hoping to get more exposure for his vegan donut food truck in the kickoff to 2023. It's a great way to be able to get our business and our voice out there. It was a rough two years. Uh, it started getting decent uh, April. Josh Breed's store is located on the action-packed Fayetteville Street. Today was great, and tomorrow's going to be good. With tens of thousands of people expected, First Night organizers are expecting a major economic impact. Each year we calculate that based on our attendance after the event, and it's always within the, the millions measurements. Oro Restaurant and Lounge is already booked for the entire evening. Essentially, from open to close, we're going to be going crazy. Co-executive chef Kevin Ruiz tells me they're prepared. All hands on deck, making sure we have extra of everything. With a new year on the horizon, he's hoping for a strong finish to this one. And I think it's super exciting to see the buzz and the amount of people that are already downtown for this New Year's. And I think that this year in particular, we're going to kind of get some sense of normalcy back. WRAL's first night has lots of new features this year, including these rides and a silent disco. There will be an early acorn drop at 7 and another one at midnight. Organizers say those will be game time decisions depending on the weather, but you'll still have all day to come out and celebrate. Gerald? Well, as Mike said, the stroke of midnight later in the evening looks like it's going to be okay. So that's good news. Monica Casey live in Raleigh. Thank you, Monica.